Are you one of those people who regularly watch the live stream from the ISS space station? If so, you may have noticed a phenomenon. Suddenly, the screen goes gray for 10 to 15 seconds. Officially, this is due to switching between the four cameras, transmission errors, or brief outages caused by maintenance work or other technical malfunctions. But back in 2015, an astronomy fan managed to snap a photo of his screen just before such a telltale pause in transmission, and it clearly shows an object that looks like a spaceship. In this video, we show you the unique shot of the unknown object and take a closer look at the phenomenon of spaceship sightings on the ISS. Colorful Shimmering Geometric Object on January 6, 2015, avid U.S. UFO hunter Tony Lund watched Spellbound, as he often does, the live feed from the International Space Station, ISS. The cameras show space fans on Earth, the direct environment of the ISS. Sometimes, there are views into space and of twinkling stars. Then the footage shows parts of the ISS itself, and depending on the position of the space station, a live broadcast provides unique views of Earth. Space fans and UFO hunters, of course, also use the stream to track down strange apparitions around the space station. Rumors about the regular appearance of unexplainable objects in the vicinity of the ISS, or quite obvious UFO appearances, are many. But NASA denies almost all of these sightings or has good explanations for anomalies on the images. Of course, when Tony Lund saw this apparition around the ISS, he immediately pulled out his smartphone and took a picture of the screen to capture the apparition. Shortly after, the screen was gray. NASA had turned off the transmission. After 15 seconds, the image was unlocked again, but the strange apparition was gone. Lund quickly sent the images to a journalist friend at the investigative station Disclose.tv. Subsequently, the two men exchanged information that this approach to masking UFO sightings was a known strategy of NASA. What was really in the picture? There were already some other sightings of strange objects and light phenomena around the ISS for which there were no explanations. NASA rarely comments on such observations. If there is a statement, phenomena like these are explained either by space debris or light reflections. In the case of this first strange object that tracked the ISS for a full seven hours, NASA published a computer simulation and claimed that the piece was a shield from the ISS that had been lost during work outside the space station. But in Tony Lund's January 2015 observation, an explanation was not so simple. The object appeared as a distinctly geometric shape and also shimmered in striking colors. The structure resembles classic notions of a missile, and the shape is somewhat reminiscent of the famous crew emblems from Star Trek. What happens on the ISS? Now, as an Earthling, one naturally wonders if it's possible that our Earth and the ISS space station are regularly approached by extraterrestrial visitors. Among UFO hunters and conspiracy theorists, it's an open secret that NASA has long known about extraterrestrials and that the astronauts on the ISS also know. However, sightings of UFOs or contacts with other species have been kept strictly secret from us until now. We'll illuminate some explanations for the proceeding of NASA. NASA knows about extraterrestrials, but has no contact. It would be conceivable that NASA and other space organizations know about UFOs. They have, however, so far no contact with the species. It's quite conceivable that Earth and our activities in space are being observed by other life forms without them seeking active contact with us. If this is true, NASA could keep the sighting secret so as not to raise unnecessary fears among humans. Even if you are a fan of our channel or a friend of para-astronomy open to aliens or UFOs, this is not true of the many other billions of people who would be terrified by the idea of alien life forms in the environment or even on Earth. Since UFO sightings usually appear and then disappear relatively quickly, it may be obvious that these space travelers are just dropping in on us or watching us. NASA knows about aliens but denies it. Surely you know the rumors around Area 51, 
the UFO sighting from 1947 and the strictly protected area, and the Nevada desert, and that one or more extraterrestrials stay or have stayed on Earth. Again, one explanation for the secrecy would be to avoid mass hysteria and panic among people. In the 1950s, fears of Martians were very present in the population due to the book and motion picture Invasion from Mars. It's possible that NASA and the governments of this world decided at that time on secrecy and are not easily persuaded from this stance. NASA has active contacts with aliens. The most fantastic theories around NASA and the existence of aliens even go so far as to claim that both NASA and governments or special ministries of this Earth have active contact with other species. Some of the conspiracy theories even assume that aliens are on Earth. Either these aliens remain hidden, or they can camouflage themselves, and or have another form than the coarse material we humans have. How probable is the existence of aliens? Recently, astronomers admitted openly, only 4% of our universe is so far explored. In plain language, this means that we don't know very much about what or who is in the vastness of space. This 4% also concerns only the part of the universe that we can see with our telescopes. A beginning and an end of the universe has as yet not been discovered. Even the remaining 96% of the so far known dimensions are probably full of secrets. Besides stars and planets, space consists for the most part of dark energy. We humans know very little about this force, which is not actually black or dark, but simply a nothing. Whether it's possible to navigate with certain technologies within the nothingness so fast that distances between planets and stars can be covered in the shortest time is just as much a mystery as the true existence of wormholes or folds in time and space which could theoretically be used to travel gigantic distances in relatively short time. If we humans wanted to travel to the nearest star system, the Alpha Centauri system, about 4.2 light years away, with the technology currently available, a spaceship traveling at a speed of 18,000 miles per hour would take an incredible 163,000 years. Even if we could build a spaceship, that could travel at the speed of light, which is currently an unrealistic utopia, we would need more than four years to visit our cosmic neighbors. But how do the alleged UFOs do it then? If we make ourselves aware of these distances, numbers, and dimensions, it must quickly become clear that extraterrestrials who visit us with their UFOs must possess completely different technologies than we do. Their spaceships move ultra-fast and their bodies have to withstand the necessary stress. UFOlogists and clever parascientists provide possible explanations here as well. On the one hand, other species can cleverly exploit the already mentioned dark matter. Albert Einstein already suspected the existence of a field that forms the basis of our universe. He called it the zero-point field. Up to now, however, Recognized scientists have a hard time with this force because it appears as if it had no force of its own. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, argue that the zero-point field, and thus also black matter, could be an inexhaustible source of energy. In plain language, this would mean that aliens could not only obtain infinite fuel for the ultra-fast spaceships via a clever use of this force, but could also easily overcome the time and space barrier. Even techniques like the dissolution of matter in one place and rematerialization in another place are possible in the world of nothingness and quanta. You are of course completely right if you're thinking of Star Trek effects like beaming up, warp drive, or spaceships that suddenly disappear in the nothingness. But let's stay on the earthly carpet for now. We humans have not even solved the problem of weightlessness in space yet. On the ISS, the astronauts are struggling with the weak gravity and with the fact that everything in the station is flying around. The work tools, personal items, toothbrushes, computers, plates, and even the human spacewalkers have to be tied down if they want to sleep. Under these conditions, after a few weeks and months, the muscles and organs of the people in space suffer. Space travelers like the German Matthias Maurer follow a strict sports program to prevent muscle atrophy and bone degeneration. For these reasons, Astronauts are not even allowed to stay on the ISS for longer than six months. Can you imagine that extraterrestrials, 
who have been studying our technology, our culture, and our behavior for a long time are just looking at us from the outside in amazement? Maybe we Earthlings and our space station are something like a primitive race or a cosmic joke for these highly technical species, something onlooking aliens marvel at occasionally. 36 Intelligent Species Finally, we turn once again to the exciting question of how likely the existence of other cultures and intelligences in space really is. In 2020, a team of researchers tackled this question from the perspective of statistics and probability. So these researchers took the total number of all known galaxies, star systems, and planets. Then they took us as an intelligent species as a further factor and applied the fact of our existence to the vastness of space. According to statistics, there should be at least 36 civilizations in the universe, which would be comparable to ours developmentally and perhaps also from outer appearances. Only if these possess no advanced technologies for the travel of the universe, we can probably forget taking up contact with these species in the foreseeable future. The question remains, are there more advanced life forms in space? And have they already contacted us or not? Exciting questions until the end. We at Simply Space would probably be just as happy as you would be if we could finally announce that aliens really do exist and that humans, with a little extraterrestrial development assistance, might soon be able to travel through the cosmos. In any case, we'll keep you posted on what's happening around the ISS, what the latest discoveries are by ufologists and para-researchers, and what official research results NASA is publishing. To close the video, tell us what you think about alien theories and Tony Lunz's strange discovery. Do you believe that it's pure coincidences when the cameras go gray for a few moments after such phenomena? We welcome your opinion and a lively discussion on the topic in the comments. See you next time at Simply Space.